Hey friends, in today's video, we are talking all about complexion. It is that time of year where our skin can get dry, dull, lifeless. I'm gonna give you tips and tricks, product recommendations to get gorgeous, glowing skin for the winter and ensure that your makeup looks good and lasts all day. Before we get started, I have a super exciting announcement. I teamed up with Sephora for this video because they are having their gifts for all event and it's happening right now. 20% off, you guys, 20% off a one-time purchase and it's across all categories. So makeup, hair care, skin care, 20% off online and in store and free shipping. So a really great time to curate your list. Remember, this is 20% off a one-time purchase happening right now. I'll have all the details in the description box below. So make sure you get everything in that cart that you're gonna wanna get because it's 20% off a one-time purchase. Okay, let's get started. So when it comes to perfecting the skin, let's talk about primers. I have two primers here to share with you. First, we have the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum Primer. This is really great to give the skin a bit of a glow, a hydration. It's just if you tend to have more dull skin or very dry skin, I would recommend a primer like this. If you tend to lean a little bit more on the oily side or your concern is really getting your makeup to last all day, you put your makeup on in the morning and you really need a good 12 hour wear out of it, I would recommend a primer like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. We're gonna go in with that one today. I did really hydrate my skin this morning and I applied a hyaluronic acid serum just before turning the camera on and getting started. So my skin is really freshly hydrated, which is so, so important. Regardless of what skin type you have, you wanna make sure that you are hydrating your skin. So I like to apply this really in the center of my face and on my forehead. I don't really take this particular product underneath my eyes. This primer has a really nice grip to it, so it's really designed and created to help grab your makeup, keep it on all day, and hold it in place. It is such a, such a good one. In fact, I picked up the gift set that Sephora has uh, that comes with the primer, and it also comes with the setting spray, which we'll use here at the end. Okay, next we're gonna go in and apply foundation. I'm gonna be using the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I really love serum foundations in the winter because they're very lightweight and very spreadable and blendable, and they just blend into the skin very seamlessly. The texture is very unique in serum foundations. It's kind of like a skincare foundation product in one. And this shade is a little bit dark on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix, I was gonna do this as the second step, but we're gonna go in this with this first. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a shade three. And this is like a skin perfecter. So you can use this product in many ways. You can use it like I am, which is applying it before foundation. I'm gonna just put it kind of right here in the center of the face kind of lifting and highlighting the face. I'm also gonna put a little bit in the center of my forehead. I'm also gonna put some just on my nose, the bridge of my nose here, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. Now, this isn't a foundation, but it does have a little pigment to it. So when you use this in combination with the foundation, you can use less foundation than you would normally. Now, I'm gonna go in, and I'm actually just going to do a soft blend first, and I'm just pressing this onto the skin because I really don't want to move this product all over the face. I really wanna keep it and blend it right where I apply it. And do you see what that's doing to the skin? just giving the skin glow up. So you can apply it this way. You can also mix it with your moisturizer and put it all over and you can apply it over makeup. So after you've applied your foundation, if you feel like you don't have as much of a glow as you'd like, you can use this product and blend it in with your fingertips or even a small brush. But doing it before foundation is gonna give a more subtle finish of the glow. Now that I've got that kind of blended in, then I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So let's go back to the LYS Serum Foundation. This is the shade MN5. It is a little dark for me though. So if you usually find that my shades work for you, I mean, this one will work, but it's not ideal. You wanna go a little lighter. And I'm just gonna take my brush and kind of spread this down the face to keep it really light and sheer, especially in the winter, you guys. Using less foundation is better. If you overuse product and you have too much product on the skin, when your skin gets drier, it tends to show more texture in the skin. And so if you have heavier product, which also shows texture in the skin, and you have drier skin, it's just a recipe for like heavy, cakey looking foundation. So I'm just using a little bit and I'm really stroking it in large strokes to really shear that product out. Typically you guys see me doing this to build coverage, not the case for this look. Having that Charlotte Tilbury down first is also going to give a little bit of coverage, not much, but 
again, it just allows you to use less foundation than you normally would. Next, we're gonna go in and conceal and brighten the skin. I kept the foundation light because I am gonna use a concealer to add a little more coverage and kind of brighten the skin. I'm gonna go in with the LYS Triple Fix uh, Concealer. This is a full coverage brightening concealer. I have the shade MN3, and this is a good shade for me. This is another one I picked up in two shades, and this one was the perfect match. I like to put a little bit right here in the inner corner. This is a very lightweight concealer. I mean, when you apply it on the skin, you instantly see like, wow, this is a lighter weight concealer than other formulas. So for that reason, I'm gonna spread it a little bit further over than I normally do with concealers. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I always like to add a little bit of lift. I start here at the outer corner and I lift up almost to kind of meet ideally where my brow would end. My brow doesn't end there because I don't have full brows. I do that and then I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm just going to apply it right here in the center of the face. Again, this is a very lightweight consistency. Even though it's a full coverage concealer, it's a very lightweight consistency. I love the texture of this concealer. I'm gonna go in with a large concealer brush to blend this out and I'm just gonna press it onto the skin underneath the eyes, and it's gonna blend it all out. This concealer is very, very skin-like. In the winter, it's really important to look for lighter weight formulas and very skin-like or satin finish formulas or formulas that do give a glow, especially if you are on the drier side, because naturally, just the climate, the colder climate, the drier air, it is going to make your skin dry and it is going to make your, your foundation look more matte. Oh, this concealer is so nice. I don't know why I haven't, I don't use this more often. It's so beautiful, so easy to blend and so lightweight. One other thing I forgot to mention when I started this video, but it's better late than never, is always hydrate your lips, you guys. Uh, and hydrate them at the beginning of your makeup application. Put a lip balm on, put a lip conditioner. I'm using this Sephora Plumping Lip Gloss because it's super hydrating. Let it sit on your lips for the time that you're doing your makeup. So that by the time you get to doing your lips, your lips are hydrated. I don't know about you, but my lips are so dry naturally all year round, but especially in the winter, they get so dry. They have a lot of lines, they show a lot of texture. And if I try and take a lip liner to them in that state, it's not good. <laughs> So I like to apply something hydrating, maybe even a little plumping. That's what I love about this Sephora gloss. This is the shade 01. It's the, this is the outrageous uh, plump effect lip gloss. I love these. You can see I'm almost halfway done with this one and this is probably my second or third one. Really, really great lip plumping formula. Very comfortable on the lips. You do feel a little bit of a like tingling sensation, but it's very, very comfortable. Um, and it's beautiful. This shade is pretty much translucent. It has a slight like moonstone opalescent finish to it. So it'll, it'll give a milky looking finish to whatever color you put it on top of but I'm just gonna let this sit until I get to my lips okay let's talk about bronzing the skin in the winter time this is really when I encourage you guys to embrace cream products cream bronzers cream blush cream highlighters I have been loving the Patrick Ta cream bronzer it's a duo it comes with a cream and it comes with a powder honestly I just kind of use the cream mostly this is the shade she's bronzed and I'm gonna go into it. I'm gonna use the tip of the brush, pick this up. I like to place it like right under my cheekbone and I'm just going to press it into the skin. This product has a nice amount of pigment to it. So you really get good payoff initially, but it's not too much and it's very easy to blend. It's a very beautiful, beautiful formula. And I'm gonna keep the bronzer a little lighter. That is one thing I do in the winter is I do kind of tone down the amount of contouring or bronzer that I do just for more of a natural glow. I don't wanna look like I'm, you know, like it's summertime, I just got back from the beach. I just wanna give my skin a little bit of life. I also like to take a little bit of this and just press it right here in the temples. And I'll do a little bit on the side of the nose just to give a little definition, but I'm not trying to carve out or contour my nose, just a little bit of warmth in the face. For blush, we're gonna go in with the Westman Atelier um, Cream Blush Stick in the shade Petal. This is a really beautiful, beautiful blush. Um, I like to go from my brush to the product to pick up the product and then apply it to the skin. It just gives you more control, kind of prevents over applying it. And it also doesn't disrupt the foundation or products that you have underneath it. This color is stunning and it's so pretty. In the winter, I do like to play up the blush a little bit to kind of give you that natural, like flushed look to the cheeks. Since I do tone down the bronzer, I like to give a little bit more color in the cheeks. And then I'll take a little bit on the nose. 
Next, I'm gonna set everything with powder. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is the Airbrush Brightening Powder. It looks white, but it actually gives the skin a really nice, soft brightening effect, and it's very blurring on the skin as well. And I really like to just powder where I need, which is underneath the eyes to set that concealer. I always powder on the forehead because I do get a little shiny there. I will powder the nose, and then I'll powder right here around the nose, just in the center of the face. I'll also take a little bit around the mouth, but I basically kind of avoid the whole cheek area if I can, especially in the winter, I can get away with that. In the summer, it's a different story. I'm in Texas, so it's hot and humid, and I usually will set everything with powder, but in the winter, I really just keep powder where I need it, and I keep it very, very light. Look at that powder, so nice. It just sets everything, slightly brightens, and smooths it out. It's so good. This is a new purchase that I picked up a week or so ago, and I'm loving it. And the last thing that you wanna do when you're done with your complexion routine is to set everything in place. I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray, and I'm gonna be pretty generous with my spray. This is a really nice light mister, so it's very hard to over apply it unless you intentionally wanna apply a lot. And that's it, really clean, fresh skin. You have a little bit of a glow in the right places. This makeup will last and set and look beautiful all day long. Um, I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So that wraps up this video. I hope you took away something, either a tip or a technique or a new product that you're gonna try. I'll have all the details for the Sephora Gifts for All event in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.